Welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself, Ashwarya Saxena, and today in the playlist of Python programming, I am going to talk about MySQL database connectivity. The required software and all I have already discussed. This is the Python programming playlist where already 85 videos have been updated. So now I am just adding on more into it. You will be getting the separate playlist for the Python MySQL database connectivity on this channel. And also the videos will be present in this Python programming playlist. So let's start with today's content and uh, the downloads and the required softwares I have already told in the previous video. So in case you have any query or you have any doubt, you can just watch the previous video. You can also put your queries in the comment section. So now I am going to uh, like install the MySQL into my system. The Python I have already installed. If I just come towards the command prompt, CMD, if you type on the search bar, so the command prompt will be coming. So here you can check the versions of Python and all which you have installed. So Python I have already installed into my system and PyCharm also I have installed into my system. So you can just check here Python hyphen hyphen version. So you can see 3.11.0, that is the latest version which I have installed here. Closing this and coming towards the control panel. So in the control panel, if you go to the programs, so here also you can find that I have installed the Python 3.11.064 bit and PyCharm community version 2022.2.3, the latest versions are installed here. MySQL, I am going to install right away. I am just uh, uninstalling this for now. And then I will install it in front of you. Softwares and all I have told in the previous video only. So I am now going to start with the installation. I am having two versions of Python, uh, sorry, uh, MySQL here. One is 8.0 and another is 5. So I am just installing 5. You can go with 8 also, both will be working same. Both the links are already there in the video description, so you can check it. I am just going to the setup and I am just pressing yes here. So here you can see it is server 5.0. Next, you can just choose the complete. Then next and install. Let it be installed. It is making changes into the system. Now here you just have to go to skip sign up and next. And once you press finish. So here another result will be coming. Then this press next. Detailed or standard any you can choose. I am choosing the standard. Any you can choose. No issues. Next and then include bins to path both you have to select here in this particular option you have to select both next then here you have to remove this actually you can choose this and then remove this okay so anonymous you have chosen next and execute you can also take, take the password and all there i have just chosen anonymous so i'm not having any password now in this mysql finish so with this finish actually the mysql has been installed into my system if I just come here, so you can see MySQL command line is present here. And if I just go to the control panel, let me show you. You can check this way. You can check that which, which softwares are properly installed into your system. Here you can see MySQL server 5.0 is installed here. So now MySQL server, PyCharm, Python, all are present here. Now you can come to the command prompt once again to check the things are working properly or not. So here on the command prompt, you can check the Python version this way and MySQL version this way. So here you can see distributed, distributed version 5.0.10. So this way both the softwares are properly installed into our system. In the next video, I will be telling you that how you can install the connector of MySQL which is required 
without the connector it will be not possible to connect the front end to the back end we have installed the python and mysql softwares and also the pycharm pycharm is the ide which we are going to use python is the scripting language right now the programming language or the scripting language which we are going to use and mysql server is the back end database server which we are going to use for the connectivity but to connect them both the driver is required the connector is required and that i am going to demonstrate in the next video so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe channel and see you in the next video